Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing My Friendly Neighborhood. Now, this is the full version of the game which just came out today, and I was very kindly given early access by the developers, so massive shout out to them for giving me an early look at this game a few days ahead of launch. And with that said, guys, we're going to be playing through this. I've been very excited for this. I know a lot of you watching the channel have also been excited since we first played through the demo around a year and a half ago now. This is a Sesame Street inspired horror game with Resident Evil vibes in terms of its puzzles, inventory system and shooting mechanics. And it's uh, very different to most other horror games out there. So I'm very excited to dive in today. So with that said, sit back, relax and let's dive into part one of My Friendly Neighborhood. Oh, we got a video. Felt something, maybe. It was more real than reality. I felt like I was lost, walking through this dark tunnel, and the ground beneath me stretched on for an eternity. It's a TV show, I think. Felt like I was dying. Yep, lots of different TV shows. He swerved out of his lane, striking a passenger van that started a pile up, killing seven. In weather, we'll all be sad to see another band of thunderstorms heading toward the city. Hmm, so we're in an Tomorrow. apartment of sorts. Oh, there's the building, the My Friendly Neighborhood building. I just had this insane sense of of um, emptiness and terror, and I just, I just. I don't care who she sees. We're not even married anymore. She can see whoever she wants. Man, it's in a state, isn't it? In a bit of a mess. Something went down there, that's for sure. So, Ashley, what did you do to end up solving the problem? I ignored it. Tried to forget. I watched television. And that helped? It dulls the pain. I wonder if these people who are going through all these issues are like watching this My Friendly Neighborhood show. Maybe they went crazy. Because it's coming on the TV now in the background. That's kind of an eerie intro. I wasn't expecting that. Very, uh, very strange. Sounds like we're turning up at the uh, building now though, in a car. Select your difficulty. I think we'll play normal. Okay. Last job of the day. What's this one about? This is Gordon. Work order. Sprocket Palm Property Management. Work order request. Client. City Network Broadcasting Group. Property 123 Sunrise Street. Date July 8th, 1993. Crewman assigned Gordon J. O'Brien. So that's obviously our character there, guys. Description of a problem. Vacant studio lot regained power last night and began televising over the top of normal programming. Client has requested that the broadcast array on the top of a central hotel be disabled to prevent further incident. Supervisor signature J. Mysterious. Note. Crewman O'Brien is on probation for sullen and impolite behaviour towards clients. Failure to satisfactorily complete this work order will result in termination. So it seems like he's on his last warning at this job, this um, Gordon J. O'Brien. He seems like a bit of a troublemaker. He's been very impolite towards various clients. So there we go, guys. A little bit of background on Gordon. Escape. Okay, wow, this is cool. Okay, exit truck. Well, here we are, guys. Canna. Uh, the last job of the day is always the worst. Yeah, so we're outside the uh, MFN building, and yeah, it seems like quite a mess has gone down here. Like, I don't know what happened, some kind of catastrophe. The office is off limits. Where do we even go? We could go over here. There's so many different ways to go. Can we go through here? No, that's locked. We need a key card. All right, it doesn't seem like there's anything to do in here, so let's head back down. This looks really cool though, like visually. Hey, look, we've got one of the puppet mascots here. It's waving going, <laughs> that's kind of cool. And a drawing of them on the ground, okay. I guess we maybe just head straight in, right? Straight into the building for now. Here we go. There's an elevator, maybe it still works. Awesome, I like his accent. 
There's an elevator. I can't even do it. I'm not even going to try and do it. Oh, it's stuck together with stuff. Is this glue? Someone's glued it together. Great. The music is ominous. Ring, Ring me. me. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, this is strange. <laughs> this is a strange way to introduce the uh, the building. It's like a little puppet show. Raise oh. the curtain. Bring up the lights. The neighborhood is coming to town. Uh, hello. I'm Sock here puppet. to disconnect the antenna. Television's heartbeat has returned. A spirit of cheer brightens every child's eye. The cry goes round the kindergarten class. The neighborhood. The neighborhood. Okay. I I'm here to disconnect the antenna. I am Ricky the Sock. Your television will never be the same. We- hold on. Did you say disconnect the antenna? <laughs> yes. Oh my, no, 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 no. You mustn't do that. That would be a catastrophe. It's broadcasting over the news. The news? No, no, trust me. The antenna is just fine as it is. Doesn't need any disconnecting. <laughs> Tell you what, you wait here and I'll... And I'll, <clears throat> and I'll uh... I'll get, you, I'll get you some... Oh, what's happening to him? <laughs> you spat out a key cut. That wasn't pleasant. I'm gonna take a sec. Okay. Um, okay then. Yeah, we're thinking the same thing there, uh, Gordon. So I guess we just uh, take the key card. Nice. Okay. Well, he's given us the key card for outside, I think. Um, that was Ricky, the sock puppet. Inspect. Ooh, can we take a candy bar? We don't have any tokens, so we need tokens for this. Okay. I wonder if we can go upstairs. Probably not, right? Probably stuck downstairs for now. Let's have a little look, though. Hey, look, Norman the puppets. Looks like something could be placed here. Oh, ah, so we got to place something in each of these statues. I get it. I don't think we can go this way yet. Let's have a look. This area is off limits. Yeah, it's locked. Okay, guys. Well, what we'll do for now then is we'll head back outside because I think this key card is meant to be used on that door outside that we saw a minute ago. So far, really liking this game. I like the vibe, the humor. Oh wait, what is this? We've got a medallion, huh? Okay, there's a missing medallion as well though. Don't know why we took the medallion. Never mind. Oh, there's a puppet. Hey, who's that? A living puppet, he's just run upstairs. I assume it's a living puppet and not someone in the suit. Anyway, we can uh, key card through here now. Nice. We're in. Wow, look at this, for my friendly neighborhood set. Or part of it. Inspect. First broadcast. Television's friendly new neighbor. Review of my friendly neighborhood by Richard Lightsbury. The week saw the premiere of a new series on City Network aimed at preschool aged children, My Friendly Neighbourhood. The show centres on titular Friendly Neighbourhood and its resident puppets, who, with the help of adults like Stevie, teach viewers about a variety of subjects including numbers, letters and how to be a friendly neighbour. The show is a catch-all term for age-old lessons about caring and sharing. While adult viewers may find the messages trite, children's hearts are captured by the neighbours. Each felt furball becomes a beloved friend, whose words are hung on to with a trust and devotion rarely seen in older audiences. Previously aired as Ricky and Friends on independent public access television, the series and creator Al Gerswald were recently signed by the City Broadcast Networking Group, and production moved to the historic City Network Hotel Studio on the west side. Their move into the big leagues of broadcasting is accompanied by, and then the text is illegible, so there we go guys. We've just taken that notes. Anything else here? We've got something here. What's this? Just a typewriter. Don't think we can do anything with that. All right, let's check this out. I think somebody just walked through that door. That's kind of weird. So we've got some of the shows that they used to air here at the studio. The Mystic Maze, The Shadow Sapphire, Halphalax. Nine out of 10 doctors recommend. Strange. 
Ricky with Friends, that's the original show on public access. Puppets Pirate Cove. It's like the Muppets or something. Alright, so can we go through here? Looks like we can. Oh. I learned my numbers when I okay, we've a got a puppet there. Let's not approach him, guys. Let me show you how I Let's uh, leave him well alone. Okay, I'm just gonna skirt around here, my friend. We're gonna go through here. That's locked. One of your hands. Maybe I could find the key. And swallow as What's this shit? You can. Now you That's locked as well. What the heck? All right, we're going downstairs. This is the best part. We found another way through. I'm a oh God! <laughs> all right. I feel like all hell's gonna break loose soon. <laughs> Let's jump down. We need to find a weapon or something. Okay, we're gonna approach you guys. It's gonna sneak. And go through here. Yeah, we did it. We didn't get spotted. Okay, so far so good. Alright, what are we doing here? So we've got a shape on this door, a triangle. This one will open. Inspect. What's this? Magazine. Ooh. And a health. Ooh, a health relax like we saw earlier. You can use health relax to restore your health. Press tab to open your inventory. Hey, there we go. That's our inventory. Little suitcase. It's like Resident Evil 4. Inspect. We've got another script here. So, this is Main Street. The neighborhood is having an outdoor bazaar. Everyone is lining up at Leonard's antique display to try on a beautiful pair of earrings. Pearl enters, sees the earrings, and cuts into line, pushing Liliana out of a way and causing a commotion. Stevie says, as he stands up from a bench, Pearl, that wasn't nice. Pearl sheepishly glances around at the others. Who are we glow- Who are all glowing at her and hunches in shame. Stevie, you can't just push people out of the way to get what you want, Pearl. It's more friendly to think about other people first. Do you see? Pearl shakes her head timidly. Stevie says, well, maybe this will make it clear. Song, put another before yourself. Put another before yourself, before you go, see if someone needs help. And there we go, a little song. That's my singing there, guys, for the video. You'll get no more. So, what else do we have? The big heist. What's in here? Got a toilet. Oh, we got toilet tape. Don't know if we want toilet tape, but we'll take it. Might come in handy for tying up some rascally puppets down the line. Sleeping can be the We've got a puppet blocking our path there. I, I want to get the gun so I can shoot First, them with roller like decks. So I, can be warm and <laughs> I like their just dialogue and his chat away, you know. Oh, what's this? Inspect. Oh, a key. It's locked. No, we need the key. Can I turn that on? Nope. What am I supposed to do here, guys? Oh, the wrench. Yes, we'll take the wrench. Press the left button to swing the wrench. So I can't do anything yet, but I do have a wrench now. So I guess maybe what we could do is go back, take down some of those other puppets, and then we'll be able to get through the level. What do you do when you get upset? Do you let it get you down? No, 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 of course not. Ah. Oh, damn it. He got me. What the heck? Stay back. There we go. We took down the enemy. When enemies are knocked over, you can tape them. Look at the enemy and press E to tape them. There we go. We've taped him. All wrapped up. We wrapped that up nicely, right, guys? Get it? Right, we're going through here. This is so confusing. There's so many different ways to go. Tools. Ah, oh, I think this is where we can store stuff, right? So if we select that stash... Yeah, nice. We can take this out. So we've got more ammo and take some of these. So we've got credits now. Hey, and there's more credits here. Awesome. Ooh, storage map. Take the soundstage map, nice. M to open your map. Hey, this is cool. So we can see what we're doing. So we're in the atrium right now. This is where we came from, the courtyard. Okay, and it shows us where we are with this little handyman face. So this is kind of what we look like here. Alright, cool. We've got a map. That'll come in uh, handy. We'll save our game. Okay, your receipt. There we go. 12 minutes of playtime. Right, let's go. I'm oh man, I'm going to I'm gonna be careful. Is that a note we can read? Nope. Maybe we can go in here. That's locked. 
That's locked. It's got another shape on it. I'm going to attack her. Hey, we took her down. She died like super fast. I'm going to take these. It's unlocked. Oh, sweet. Have we just shortcutted our way back? I think we might have. Kind of. We're here. Oh, no. Oh, my God. She's freaky looking. What the heck? She's all gangly. Okay. We'll take that. Is there anything else here, though? There's nothing else here. What the heck? I'm out of tape. Hmm. I can't go back this way. That's creepy. That's like a puppet there. It's very dark, this game, at places, so you have to be careful. Green to go. What the heck? Maybe there's something I can uh, smash now we've got this wrench. We'll have a look around. If you can draw, you can do all sorts of things. Right, take him down. So ah! Oh, he grabbed us. There we go. Now you're down. Stay down. Okay, we've made it. Wow, who's that? Got lots of more posters here. For <laughs> a puppet's winter song. I love them up. It's Christmas Carol. One of my favourite films. It's very Muppets and Sesame Street inspired. Ooh. Got a cutscene, guys. Don't know who uh, who this is meant to be. Maybe the creator. Oh, the gun. There you are. There's Ricky. Now don't toddle off again. I've got some snackaroos waiting back in the lobby. Hey, what's going on here? Your puppet friends are attacking me. Oh, are they? How embarrassing. By the way, what's your name? What? Your name. Your moniker, your handle, your nom de plume. <laughs> it's Gordon. Gordon? What a beautiful name. I could say it all day. Gordon. 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 Is this a gun? Does it work? Oh my, that's where I left that. I was <laughs> trying to take it from us. No, Ricky. Bad puppet. Let go. Fine. If you're gonna go gallivanting all over the place, then at least watch out for Pearl. Pearl? You know, the enormous bird that crushes people. Don't get on her bad side is all I'm... <laughs> what was that? Oh no, it's gonna be like Big Bird, guys. Okay, oh, let's God. do this. Is that Pearl or is that just a puppet? I don't know. Reload. Oh god, we've got a whole host of them. I'm gonna wait, guys, until they come down and we'll shoot them. Come on, stupid puppets. Boom, 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 boom. Oh god, okay. We're on danger already for our health. Okay, we took them down. Learn your alphabet, huh? That was not perfect by any means. I like how it just fires out the alphabet as we shoot this gun. That's amazing. We've got a note here as well. The stenographer. Hank's inventor diary. 4th of 16th, 69. I finally got it working. It's a real beaut. I think I'll call it the stenographer because it shoots letters out of an index. Shouldn't be dangerous at all, but it'll really give someone a clonk if they get hit in the head. Should be useful for security, special effects, fun, etc. And that's from Hank. There we go. Right, guys, I might have to heal up. We took some damage there. Let's use this. There we go. We're still on caution, though. This game's kind of tricky. Right, so where do we go now? That's locked. Hmm. Oh, we can go and get the key, though, can't we? What we can actually do is go back and get the key because we needed to shoot the target to get the key. So let's go do that. Should be this way, I think. <laughs> I'm glad we tied up the guy here because we're constantly using the staircase. <laughs> Through we go. All right, shoot this target. Hey, we get the key. Gimme, gimme. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and use this key. Where would we use a key? Hey, we unlocked it with a blue circle key. Okay, we're in. Ooh, what is this? Can I clunk this? Yes, I can. Don't know what it does, though. This game is so cool. Like, the fact that every room looks different and has different, like, assets and stuff. We've got some party food here. Oh, a juicy old pizza. Can we eat that? 
No such luck. Can we get through here? Inspect. It's taped shut. Can I not just smack that? Nope. Oh, we have got some tape though. Okay. We pillaged that uh, drawer there. Calendar here. Something's been torn off that. Oh, open. Where are we going now? I'm a craft oh, we've got up the top. <laughs> and there's a tape, a secret. Ooh, cheap tape. A cheat unlocked. What cheat is that? Can we see? No, we can't see. I don't know what that would be. Either way, we got a secret tape. That's pretty cool. Our first secret, guys. We need to get inside here somehow. So maybe we need some scissors or something. But yeah, we can't seem to do anything more here for now. So let's get back out. When you go to the park, bring some and ah! no! there we go. We have to take it down quickly. Let's try going through here. There's got to be another door that we can uh, access. Okay, I'm going to try going back this way, guys. I can't remember where I need to go. Oh, yeah, here, I think. The door with the big circles on it. That makes sense. See, we just found a secret by going back the other way. That door wasn't necessary. Oh, wow. This must be one of the old sets. There's so many places we can go in this set. Wow, this is huge. This is really cool, look. It's like New York or something as a set, I think. Can we go through here? It's locked from the other side, huh? I want to have an explore. This is amazing. That's open. I just want to pillage this whole place, you know? Ah, oh, it's locked. No, I want to prize it open. I want everything. I want all the secrets. So I don't know that we can do anything. Oh, maybe we can. We can access the building through the uh, alleyway here. This is cool. Hopefully we can get inside the building by going through this door. Yes. Sweet. We're in the set, guys. So what do we do here? Drop this? <gasps> we're going to drop this on him, I think. Oh, no, we're not. We're just going to open the gate. I thought we were going to drop a chandelier on him or something. So we've opened the door down there. I don't know how we get down from here. We'll go back out. We'll head back outside. Mm. Can we go this way? Oh my god, there's puppets up here, guys. I think I'm going to try and hit him with this. I just sent her flying down. That's amazing. All right, we're going to go this way. We're going to try this door. Oh, my God. Oh, this is how we get down. Okay, well, we're going to want the gun, I think. Shoot him. I'm not letting you attack me, man. There we go. We took him down. So we got a key and some ammo. Nice. Was that a square key? I think it was, right? Have a smiley day. Oh, I will. Thank you. All right, guys. I don't know what to do now. I think maybe we unlock this. I actually want to check our map as well. So, oh my god! I was not ready for that. I did not know she was going to run over to us. Screw you. Apparently, there should be a. Uh, a door that was locked before that we can now access? Yeah, there should be something in here that we can now access with this key. Maybe it's this till, actually. I think it is. Yes. Oh, nice. I don't know what a letter block is. We just got a letter block, guys. Let's see what that is. A letter block. I don't know what that does. Maybe it's just something we need for a puzzle later. Um... Guys, I don't know what to do. It's kind of scary because it's so big and open, this place. Or maybe in the ABC building we can use the uh, block, actually. Yeah, it's got to be in here, right? Alright, I'm just going to chill. Edge around. I think we have the key for this, right? Yeah, we unlocked it with the orange square key. Nice. And this is kind of scary. 
I don't know why it's scary, it just is. Anything else? Oh, we got a note here, guys. Oh, no, we don't. We just got a token. I'll take it. What else can we see in here? I'm going to head up to the top. Okay, we've got another save point. So we can save our game. Should we want to. I can see we haven't been to the pizza plex yet. Or well, the pizza parlor, I should say. It's not Five Nights at Freddy's quite yet. Uh, let's save our game. Nice. I'll take it. And this heals us. Ooh. Five cents. Go on then. Let's heal up. Using all our tokens frivolously here. Now we're going to go downstairs again. I think what I'll do is explore the rest of the area. Uh, we don't think have the key for this yet. So um, I'm going to head back outside for now. Alright guys, so we've got a mailbox here. Friendly mail. Hmm. Interesting. Oh! And this is where we need to put those letters, I think, guys. Yeah, we've got to collect more. We've got to collect, like, another five, I think? Okay, no worries. Looks like it can open, but the lid won't lift. Okay. What do we got in here? Oh, ammo. We'll take the ammo. Nice. What's this? Pizza. Yeah, the pizza place. Let's go and check out the pizza place. So this is a script. Ricky says it's pizza time. The pizza time theme plays and the hand on the pizza time clock turns. Stevie enters. Stevie says, what are you doing, Ricky? Ricky, oh, we were just about to go and see what's in the pizza box. What's today's topping, Goblet? Goblet points of a clock. Goblet says rumbling. Chovy! Ricky says, anchovies? Boy, I love anchovies. Let's go. I hate anchovies, guys. I would not put anchovies on a pizza. I would rather have pineapple, if anything. You know, it's like a curse to me. So we've got a clock here. Ooh. Anchovies for the pizza. There's a box outside as well. Oh my god, the bird. Why the bird? Holy moly, that is uh, a lot bigger than Big Bird. I can't remember what the name of it was now. Is it friendly? Will it attack? Stay there. Please. Look, the box is open, guys. We've got some ammo, but I'm kind of too scared to worry about that right now. That is a huge bird. Will you attack us? Oh my god, yes it will. Yes it will, it knocks us down. I shouldn't have gone over to it, guys. I just wanted to give you a good look at it. But yeah, it knocks us down. It doesn't attack, it just like walks over us like they said it would. Ricky said to, to beware of that big bird, didn't he? We just smacked that one. Some of them go down really quickly and other ones um, take a bit longer. Alright. Ooh, shotgun ammo. We don't have a shotgun yet, though. We got a shotgun in the demo. It was really cool. I'm not going to tape any of those up yet. No point. Mm. So this is where we were before. If we go through that door, I think it takes us back to the laundrette, so I'm not going to go back that way. The thing is, the enemies respawn when you go, like, from one area to the next, so you have to be kind of careful. Oh, I can't even go that way either. So we can't do anything this way yet. Maybe there's other, like, uh, compartments around the environment with these symbols on it. So there's an onion one, a mushroom one, an egg one, a pizza one. Because there was an anchovy one around here, right? Oh my god. I'm going this way, guys, because that bird's down there and it's terrifying. Oh my god, I still got run over by it. Are you kidding me? Oh god, oh my god, that's huge. You know what? I'm just gonna go this way if it's alright by you. A letter, that's what we wanted. Alright, I'm running now. I don't want this bird to crush us. We're going upstairs, we're going upstairs, we're going upstairs. Ooh. We've got a compartment as well. Taking it. Nice. I'm going to shoot this dude. 
Might as well put those bullets to good use, or those alphabet letters, I should say. Man, he took a lot of shooting. Oh, there's a mushroom one. Guys, I'm going to go and get the mushroom one. I might as well while we're here, right? So that was mushroom. I'm going to go over and get our spoils from that little box. Hey, one of the letters. Nice. Let's change it to the egg. I think that's meant to be an egg. Oh my god. Giant bird. Look, here we go. Welcome to my friendly neighborhood or the friendly neighborhood. That's, um, that's cool. This is a giant neighborhood, that's for sure. Right, anyone up here? Yep, there's two. Wow, they're stuck together. I'm just going to shoot. It's an easy shot. It's like shooting fish in a barrel of this. Because <laughs> they were so close together. Nice. Hey, here's one we opened. We've got some health. I'll take it. Now, before we go anywhere else, because the enemies will respawn, is there anywhere else we can go? Ooh, another letter. Sweet. This is like a music room. Look, got a little record spinning, some peaceful music. It's like a teenager's room from the 1990s. Alright, where else can we go? I don't want to go through that wooden door because they're one way. Look at this cityscape, man. This is cool. Giant, like, studio cityscape. Made to look like it's a real city. I think we can go through here because we actually had the key, right? Oh my god. <laughs> is he dead? Are you okay, man? You've been on the source? You've been drinking a few? Drain the bathtub. It's like a Resident Evil game. I love this in Resident Evil. But when you drain the bathtub in Resident Evil, he's twitching. A zombie always jumps out. So, is he going to come to life is the question, guys. That is a million dollar question. He doesn't seem to be. I'm just going to take this. And I'm gonna oh! Okay. You freak. Stupid puppet. Man, that got me. What are you laughing at? Okay, I'm... I don't think we can do anything more with him. I'm just going to leave him there. That ship. Sailing on the waves. Problem is now, all the puppets will have respawned because we left the, uh, we left through the, the door. Yep, they've all come back. Fantastic. I feel like we maybe have collected enough letters, but I can't fully remember. There's a giant bird. Hello. Gonna attack us? No? Good? I'm gonna try and hit- Welcome, welcome, welcome! Uh. No! Okay, we're on danger, guys. Oh, no. I'm running. Die! We can teach them! We can teach them! Get back! Alright, he's down. I'm gonna have to heal. That was crazy. Man, we're gonna have to use both of these, I think. Because our uh, health is very low. The game's actually kind of tricky. Oh my goodness! Came out of nowhere. Run, 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 run. No, 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 no. no. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to put these down. We're missing one, guys. We're missing one. I don't know where it could be. Alright, guys. Have we been through this door yet? I'm not sure if we did or not. No, I don't think we've been through here. Ah, oh, there's the final letter. Yes, we found it. Okay, sweet. We've got all the letters now. And we've got this little, um... Got a strange little room here. Is there anything in here? Yes, we've got tape. It's a drawer full of trash there. Okay, this is good. I think we've got all the uh, alphabet letters that we need, guys. Now we can um, hopefully put the last one down. We've got to spell something. I know what it is. It's neighbor. Hey, we got the, the letter. So, I guess we want to post this in here, right? There we go. We got a crank handle. Maybe this unlocks a different part of the studio. Yeah, maybe, but where? Where did we need the crank handle? Maybe we go back the way we came, right? Like somewhere this way? 
It's the only thing I can think of. Let's go head back, guys. We might actually be able to find um, find something if we head back this way now. We want to find a place for a crown candle, though. Ooh. Do we, do we search these? We have now. See, I think it's got to be this way somewhere. Oh my god, it's night time now. It's getting dark. So he said, does this open a different part of the studio? Ooh, is it maybe this way? It's time to fix. Ooh, guys, I think it might be this way. Look at this. Crank candle in. Hey, Very there nice. There we go. Ray, oh my god. And we're in to well, a basement. No getting back up that way. I think this is actually where the demo took place, guys. But it looks a lot better now than when the, the demo came out. But for now, guys, I'm actually going to end part one here. So far, I really love this game. I love the personality of the puppets. I love the art style. I love the shooting mechanics. And the puzzles seem actually well thought out and well designed. So eager to play some more of this. There'll probably be a second video on the channel today, so stay tuned for that. And once again, a big shout out to the developer for giving me an early copy of this game. But with that said, guys, I am going to wrap it up for now. So if you have enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.